Hi everyone, thank you for joining us. My name is Dori Fischer from BDO Cyber Security Center. I manage detection and response services. With me today, uh, Yaniv Elbaz, uh, VP Sales of Iron Scales, the greatest fishes solution ever, right? <laughs> um, and uh, we are here to talk about our partnership and what we are doing together in order to uh, make email safer. So, hey Yaniv, how are you? Good, good. Thank you very much for the invitation. Thank Happy you. to be here. Thank you. So I, I just wanted to ask you really about maybe the last year uh, in, in phishing, you know, seeing that from many customers around the world. What are you seeing there phishing-wise? So the last year was very interesting because we, we found during the COVID the malware is going down and the BEC and the social engineering is going up and dramatically spread across many organizations. We found a um, really sophisticated attack that bypassed all the traditional defenses. And actually, the technology we found that is not good enough to protect. This is what, yeah, in the technology perspective, on the process, we, we will speak about the MDR and what we are doing together in a second. Yeah, we spoke before, and you know, doing that for, for a few years, um, you know, one thing we talked about was, was the awareness bit. And, and how much do you think awareness is still an issue, you know, with, with phishing? So how does it, like, uh, what's the percentage, pr um, you know, prevention, detection, protection versus awareness, right? Yeah, so let's talk a little bit about awareness and the human factor. It's a very interesting one. The human factor, first, is not good enough to protect if we're talking about uh, impersonation, similarity, and targeted, highly targeted attacks. Today, the user doesn't know if it's real or not. Yes. And that's the, the main issue. And yes. they don't have the proper tools. If you think that only awareness will keep you safe, that's the main problem. That's first. Second, we know that if the user recognizes something as, as something malicious, in his mailbox, most probably that he will delete the email and will not report to the CISO, to the IT and the security team. And that's another problem. And then we need to talk about the process. Okay, we talked about the technology, we talked about the users, and now what is the process? If someone is reporting to you, what is the current situation that you have in the organization? And I think that this is exactly where the MDR is coming into place. Yeah, so, so MDR, Managed Detection Response Services, you know, we really, um, when starting the, or when running this, we're really chosen just a few technologies that we want to manage. So most of the technologies are being connected, uh, being collected, but we chose a few technologies. Phishing was one of them because what we see, uh, or what we saw in phishing when we started this, we saw that the, um, the capabilities of organization to get the relevant people to look at those emails that we were talking about and, and have a team that responds to them 24-7 was really non-existent for most company that we, uh, that we work with. So I think combining that capability of both being you know, uh, um, top tier prevention, protection, uh, and detection, and also getting that response bit in place, that, that makes a difference for most organizations we work with. So if a customer is using uh, uh, the MDR today, what is the benefit that he will, uh, that he will get from you? Yeah, so I think we are, we are very focused on detection and response. So our, our, our thing is really being able to see um, the incidents and being able to respond very quickly. Because we believe, in, and maybe you can share some, some numbers around that, you know, you can prevent you know, most of the things or most of the incidents most of the time, but not all the incidents all the time. For that, you really need you know, resilience, detection, response. So let's, let's take a, big, let's take the, uh, a look at a bigger, bigger picture. First, 96 of all the attacks, the successful attacks, coming through email. Okay? This yeah, is the main amazing. vehicle. Yeah. That's the main vehicle to, to get into. First. Secondly, we need to talk about what are the layers that we need to protect the company. So the first thing that, Iron, at Iron's case, we are using six di different technologies to block the known attacks. And then we are moving from, fr from this layer to the mailbox protection and understanding who you are who are the contact, the global address book, the domains that you interact, and if there is something suspicious going on and similarities or hacking, we will be able to give you a red flag saying that this is not Yaniv as you know. This is yeah. someone else. This is not John as you know. Yeah, I know. And our customers really use that. You know, they, they, they are pressing those links. They are getting into the stock. And I want to chime in the number you gave. So 96% of the attack, that's, that's, that's a huge number, right? 96% of all the successful attacks are coming through email. That's a staggering number, right? Yeah. Another three coming from a, a, a website, if you want, and another one from another one percent coming from mobile, just 
you know, if one. Yeah, I think we've seen that in the last year, uh, many of the attacks coming from phishing. I think one of the things is, you know, the attacker, uh, the attacker, the adversaries has limitless uh, tries and the defenders need to fail only once. And now uh, exactly. it's, it's an issue. Now, now they have a compromise in the organization. So maybe uh, one final word, uh, because uh, we just wanted a few minutes to, to yeah, go. Yeah, so, so we talked about the technology layer and the, human, uh, and the human perspective. Another thing that is very, very important, we have created sensors in every organization, in every company. CISO can update another CISO anonymously and securely that there is a new attack, as a zero day attack, that didn't uh, found in any other solution. And now he got it verified and other CISO can be protected at the same moment, not after 22 days or after a month. Yeah, okay. this is the federation bit you were yeah, talking about, right? Exactly, that's the community and the federation. Uh, the power of the crowd. Yeah, I, th I think together. we're using that a lot and I think that's really, that kind of a collaboration is really missing in our cyberspace. Yeah. So that's really a great feature to have. Think about the, the, the attackers today. They really like the idea that everyone is working solid. Yes. You're not sharing a, any data. If the bank is having uh, or suffering from a phishing attack, he's closing, he's closing everything and nobody knows about it, right? I agree. And I we are changing the, the game here. Yeah, so that's, that's one thing about the MDR, you know. When you're seeing uh, different organizations, different sizes and locations, you are getting one big picture. Yes. So as you being, you know, all of the hundreds of thousands of, of, of email boxes, maybe millions already protected with the solution, I think you have that kind of visibility that allows you to make that really okay. federation and collaboration happen. Exactly. So maybe with this word, I want to thank you for your time today. Thank Annie. you very much. It was much. really great having you. Thank, thank you for you. being so courageous and coming over to BDO. <laughs> and thanks everyone for joining us. Keep safe and healthy.